Oh, have you changed the camera, the battery? Yeah. Ooh. I'll flip the screen around. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the word picture. Right. I've had some lessons with another instructor. Mm -hmm. I want you to treat me as a pupil at the partly trained stage. I've never met you before, but my instructor has got a similar car to you, so I am familiar with the controls. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he said today we were going to do a reverse around the corner, either to the left or to the right. Okay. Um. So my name is, or your name is. My name's Ollie. Yeah, my name's Tony. Nice to meet you, Tony. Right. So, you understand the word picture? Uh huh. Can I ask a quick question? That roll on it. Can, yeah. Realistically, on the test, are they going to give you a reverse to the right? Or seeing as it's practicing? It could be either. It could be either. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No problem then. Yeah. Cool. All right. Okay, if you'd like to get yourself set up, Tony. Oh. Perfect. Now, I spoke to Bob, your instructor, last night quickly. And he said that you had done some basic reversing no, already. I'm just telling myself. Oh, sorry. That's what I'm wanting to tell me. <laughs> You're male. We can't uh, do that. I'm set up now. Okay. Can you just tell me what you can see out of your interior mirror, please? I can see the hole in the back of the window. A bit of my head just trying to meet yours. Fantastic. And the left door mirror? The door handles. Yeah. The sky at the top and the rise in the middle. Okay. And the right and door. Same. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> I spoke to Bob briefly last night, your other instructor. Yeah. And he said that you had done some basic reversing uh, in a straight line, though but not round a corner, is that right? Um, You've done some reversing in a straight line. Yeah, we did do a bit of straight reversing last weekend. Yeah, does that ring a bell? Yeah. Okay, and can you remember, Tony, what skills did you have to use to do that reversing? Uh, an awful lot of skills. An awful lot of them? Yeah. Yeah, so there was a bit of clutch control there. Do you remember doing that? You had to be quite gentle on the clutch, didn't you? I think so, yeah. Yeah, and what way were you looking when you were reversing? Yeah, so just wind that back a bit. Okay. How did you control the speed of the car, Tony? Okay, how did you control the speed of the car, Tony? Oh, I had to coordinate them pedals down there. You did, absolutely. Can you remember how you were coordinating them? No. No? All over the place, I was about to control all three of them at one point. Yeah, it, it does get busy, doesn't yeah. it, when you go yeah, backwards? Yeah. But, um, yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll look at that and we'll go work yeah. on those pedals a little bit later. Yeah. Um, and, Tony, where were you looking when you were reversing? Oh, behind me. Behind you. Yeah. Okay. Were you looking anywhere else at any time? Um, I had a quick look all around, but it was mainly looking behind me. Mm -hmm. So we want to be looking where we're going. The same, Tony, as when you're going forward and you check your mirrors, don't you, to just see what's around you yeah. every so often. We do the same. When we're going backwards, we're primarily looking backwards, but we do need to take effective observations all around us as well. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, so yeah. what we'll do, Tony, is now we'll go drive somewhere to where we can do this manoeuvre, yeah. and then I'll sit down and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Oh, right. Okay? Yeah. Cool. So, when you're ready, if you'd like to move off. And we're going to turn left. And turning left, please, Tony. Turning left again. Okay, Tony. How did you use the clutch then as you were coming away from the junction? Just came off it. You came off it, okay. It's important, Tony, um, especially when we're doing a reversing manoeuvre, but with all times that you're using the clutch, that we're gentle with it. We need to feed it gently. Uh, feed it, that's a bad word. You, you need to let it out gently. When you find the biting point, you want to hold it there, just for maybe until the car's moved about the length of a car, and then you can take it out fully. Otherwise, it's just going to jump forward and skid a little bit like it did oh, there. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. The consequences, Tony, of not doing that is that um, the car's going to jump forward quite quickly as it did, oh, and when right. we're reversing, we're going to lose a lot more car control than we do when we're going oh, forwards. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Try it now, nice and gently. Mm. 
Can't bother this traffic. <laughs> That's it. Until it's moved about the length of car. Do you feel the difference? Yeah, that was much nicer, Tony. So I want you to use that same good clutch control that you've just demonstrated when we're going backwards. That'll make it a lot easier for you, okay? And turning right. And turning right, please. Tony, when you're going forward, why is it important to ever so often take a glance in your mirror? Absolutely. So it's the same when we're doing observations. Left here, please. When we're doing observations, when we're reversing, it's the same. That even though we're not going in that direction, we need to know what's happening all around us. Okay. Sounds quite complicated. This reverse around the corner. You'll be fine with it. I think the way you've, you're driving to where we're going so far, I think you've got some amazing driving skills. You won't have a problem at all. Yeah, it sounds very really complicated maneuver this reverse around the corner. It's not very complicated. It's something that you need to be um, kind of careful, you know. We'll do it slowly the first time so you can learn it all, but you won't have any problems. Once you've done it a couple of times, you'll be absolutely fine with it. How did you find the first time you moved off? Did you find that quite complicated? It's quite a lot to think about the first time you do anything new, so this will be the same. I'm just still thinking about this reverse around the corner. Yeah. And turning right. And turning right, please. <clears throat> yeah, my mates all talk about it. Okay, when do you think it's important? Or when do you think you could use a, a turn? Oh, I know the answer to that one. Go on then. My driving test. Absolutely, that's going to be an important one. It may well come up on your driving test. You only do a couple of the manoeuvres and you're going to learn more than you'll do on the test. But more importantly, Tony, what would happen if you needed, say, to reverse onto a drive at home? Or you turned into a corner and there was a block and you needed to reverse out of that road? Oh. That's when you could use it in an everyday situation. So it's a, it's a good manoeuvre to, to be able to do. So I can, I can reverse anywhere, I think. You can't reverse on a... You can't reverse up a one-way road. Oh, you couldn't reverse to go up the wrong way up a one-way road. And you couldn't reverse on a dual carriageway or a motorway. So where it's safe to do so, mm. and legal to do so as well, then you could use this manoeuvre. Mm. Much nicer um, clutch control now, Tony. So, have you got your own car? Sorry? Have you got your own car yet? No. No? Are you hoping to? Uh, no, I've got some of my moped first. Right. Okay. Do you want to buy one? Uh, no, thank and you. Turning right. And turning right, please. I used to have a moped, I came off it twice in three weeks. You're a pretty good rider then. Yeah. Feel safer with, I'm with a I'm car. I'm not coming to you for more so I can listen to No. <laughs> if you just get me to stop on the left, just pass that black car. Please. Okay, and Tony, if you can stop on the left, just pass this black car, please. Fantastic. And if you can just secure the vehicle, please. It's going to be a left hand reverse into that corner on the left. Okay. Yeah, we just have a, have, have a little bit of chat about the drive there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had to kind of instigate a little bit of a conversation about what we're going to do. Going to do. You don't have to, you know, you can do it all in the brief here. But the more you can get done, the better, presumably. Well, well you have to, yeah. You know, you have done the turn in the road with me, haven't you? Yeah. Um, what did you talk about on... We've done the turn in the road? No. Uh, I'm at a roll now, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah? We have done the turn in the road, and what did we talk about on the on the drive to the side? Um, I can't remember. It was Dad that was doing it. It was um, gravity, things like that, as you're coming up. Where am I where, where are you going to yeah, yeah, where you might do suitable it. Suitable locations. Yeah, it's just keeping the whole conversation going, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah, so I gave you a couple of lifelines there to get it, so you'd... You know, just get it, get a bit of information to okay. go on there, yeah? Yeah. So you should do it on the brief when we get here. Okay. Okay, so we carry on from there.
Okay, Tony. So we're going to be doing a reverse to the left round the corner, right. round this junction here. Yeah. Okay. So first of all, as we briefly spoke about on the way here, can you think of where you might do a reverse round the corner? No, oh, you said if, I was, uh, if the road was blocked. Yeah, if the road was blocked, <coughs> is a good idea. Um, or you might use it to go into a driveway, something oh, like that, into a restricted area. Yeah. Um, and is there anywhere that we spoke about that you can't do a reverse round the corner? No, you said a dual carriageway. Dual carriageway, motorways, yeah, places like that. One way street. One way street, yeah. Okay. So, Tony, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up past the... We're, we're going to drive past the road that we're turning into. Yeah. And as you drive past it, Tony, it's really important that you take a long look into that road. Right. We need to make sure that it's clear to be able to reverse yeah. into it. It's important, Tony, that we check that as we go past. Otherwise, we're going to be reversing and causing issues to drivers or parked cars there, and that could be dangerous for both us or another car and cause an accident. Okay, so it's important we do that. We're going to go past here, and we're going to pull over to the left-hand side, the same as you've pulled over here, about three or four car lengths past the junction. Okay, and don't worry about any driveways when you're pulling over, because we're only stopping temporarily there, okay? Um, the once you've done that, we're going to be taking effective observations all the way around us. Park very close to the curb, don't I? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're going to park about a drain's width um, or, or foot away from the curb. That's the distance we want to be keeping. Okay. So you see a drain. I don't know what I thought is there. Okay. So can you see a drain up there? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to park a drain's width away. Okay. Um. We're then going to be checking around us and doing an effective observation to see if there's anything else that we could cause an obstruction to. So we're going to be looking out of all, all of our um, points. You've got blinds for two blind spots to check, you have three mirrors, and out the front as well. They're the six points you're going to check. Have you done the six-point check before, Tony? No. No, okay. So we're going to start over our right shoulder. Okay, and you're going to be checking between the door pillar and your seat on the right, then out your right door mirror, out the front, out your interior mirror, out your left door mirror, and then between, the, well, out the back left window, which will be your left-hand blind spot. Okay? If you're happy there's nothing coming that we're going to cause an obstruction to, we're going to start reversing back in a straight line. Um, when you're doing that, Tony, it's important you're looking out the back window to see where we're going. And at the same time, it's important that you keep your hands still and the wheels straight. And you're going to be controlling that by locking your feet in this position. So you're going to have your right foot with a little bit of gas set and your left foot balancing the clutch. So we're going to, as we did pulling away back there, you're going to come off the clutch to the biting point, let it turn, let the vehicle move about the length of a car, and then you can let the clutch out, but you're controlling the two together and covering the brake to control your speed nicely. Okay? Does that make sense? Having the gas set, covering the brake. So have it, having the gas set and doing the clutch, once you're moving, then we're going to be using the brake a little bit as well, just to control the speed as we're slowing down. We're going to come back in a straight line, following a reference point. Now we're about a foot away from the curb, so we're actually going to pick our reference point here for the first part of the reversing, okay? So if you can stay in your normal driving position and turn your head so that you can see out the back window for me, and I want you to tell me where the curb cuts into the car out the back window. Oh, just in the middle of the wiper. Just in the middle of the wiper, like that? Yeah, I'll give you my answer. Okay, fantastic. So, um, we're going to follow that line, Tony, and that means that we're reversing in a straight line in line with the curb until the curb starts to go round the corner. When it goes round the corner, we're then going to stop and take a full observation all the way around us to ensure that there's nothing else around. And it's important we do it at that time, Tony, because when we turn, the front of the car is going to come out into the middle of the road. So we need to make sure that we're not going to obstruct anybody else. If there is something that we're going to obstruct, we stop and we wait until they're clear. And we do the same at the start, when we check before we start reversing backwards. If there's anything there that we're unsure about, we stop and we wait, okay? We're then going to um, pick up another reference point, which I'm going to stop you and help you pick out at the time. And it's going to be where the curb turning the corner cuts into your back left window here. Okay, and it will look something similar to that when we're going round. And that's going to be 
um, the point that we're going to follow and keep the curb in that area. Do you mean you want me to reverse back until this point lines up? Oh, sorry, yeah, until that point lines up. Right. Is that we? Okay. So we're going to keep going backwards, sorry, until you see the corner starting to appear in this back left window. No, we don't when you get to there, we're going to stop and oh, take okay, full observation. Right. Yeah. Sorry, that's yeah. my mistake. Once we've done that, we go look around for anything again and keep reversing around, keeping the curb in that point in the back left window. And then as it starts to straighten up, we're going to um, look out the back again to see it come back to our original reference point that we found there. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. yeah? We need to um, remember as well, Tony, that there's gravity that's going to take an effect yeah. as well. So this road goes ever so slightly downhill. And so as we go round, the car is going to move on its own, even if you put the clutch in. And so we need to control that by covering the brake. You need to be controlling the two pedals down there together, the brake and the clutch. Cover the brake. Cover the brake, yeah, but make sure that you're not fighting the brake and the clutch against each other. Well, I can't believe I've got the clutch all the way in, have I? No, so we're going to... But so we might. I'll just be covering the brake. Uh, and using it to adjust your speed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. Should we have a go? Yeah. Yeah? Fantastic. So there's no steering involved in this at all? I said I thought I said steering here. In fact, I'm sure anyway. Um the yes, we're going to once we're turning into the corner, we're going to steer the wheel to the left and we're going to follow it keep it, follow the curb, keeping it in that point there. Okay, so you're going to be turning the wheel about one turn round to the left. One turn to the left. I don't know if that's too steep until we're there. One turn to the left. One turn. How would you like me to describe it, Tony? Can you help me? Yep, we're going to turn towards me, one full turn, so the wheel ends up looking like that again oh. in front of you. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? I'll talk you through it as we go. We'll do the first one nice and slowly right. so that you can see the whole thing right. and you'll have no yeah. problems. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Right. Okay, so if you'd like to set yourself up to move off. Oh, I've driven here, haven't I? Okay, so we're going to go nice and gently. Stay at about five miles per hour as we go past, please. And we need to take a good look into this road to make sure it's safe to reverse into it. Oh, yeah, it looks safe. Yeah, yeah that looks fine. Yeah. Okay, and keep going past about three car lengths. Don't worry about any drives and stay a width's, um, a drain's width away from the curb. And then stopping when you're ready. Okay, fantastic. So now we're going to go into neutral, Tony. No, sorry, into reverse gear. So we're going to push down. No, so if you go back into neutral, that's actually in first at the moment, Tony. And the way you can tell that is by, in this car in particular, um, you'll see a visual parking sensor coming on there. It's important that we've got the right gear selected, Tony, because otherwise we're going to go shooting off forwards when we're looking backwards, and that could be dangerous to little Johnny who's just run out in front of us. Yeah, it would be quite embarrassing. There you go. So we're now in the correct gear, okay? And you understand why that's important? Yeah. Fantastic. What we're going to do now is we're going to bring the clutch up about a centimetre at a time until you find the biting point, which you know from moving off and stopping. Do you mean prepare the car? Yep, prepare the car. Okay, so if you just bring the gas off a little bit for me, about the width of a pound coin, yeah. that's it. And so the rev limiter should be between one and two. Okay, and then bring the cl clutch up gently. So, you get, oh, sorry, it's important to, to keep the accelerator where it is, Tony, um, because otherwise we're going to go shooting off quickly backwards. Oh, yeah. So we only want a little bit of gas, yeah. okay? okay yeah. Fantastic. Then bring the clutch up gently to find the biting point, about a centimetre at a time. It's important not to go past the biting point, Tony, otherwise we're going to go shooting back. Okay, so hold it about there, in by the width of a pound coin for oh, me. Sorry. Fantastic. So we don't want to be beyond that because we're not quite oh. ready to go yet. Yeah. It's important, okay? Next, we're going to do a full observation, starting over your right shoulder, Tony. Right, yeah. Okay, so keep one hand on the wheel and one yeah. hand on the handbrake, ready to reverse. Check between your um, right door pillar and your seat, over that shoulder. Um, okay, can you see anything there? Driveway. Driveway, anything coming out of no. it? No. What about out the window? No. No, the door mirror on your right? No. No, out the front? Here with air strings walking down the road. Okay, are we going to cause an obstruction to them? I think so. No, that's fine then. Out your interior mirror? No. No, out of my door, side door mirror? No. No, and out of the back left window? 
Mm. No, keep looking right round for me, Tony, right. okay? Mm. No, fantastic. Keep looking out the back window for me. Oh, you said the back left window. Yeah, sorry, now we're going to start to reverse. Right. So it's important now that you look out the back window. It's important you look where we're going, Tony, right. just in case little Johnny's out there right, yeah. and you hear him. Have you seen little Johnny out there? Okay, so can you see the reference point where the curb cuts into the car? Yeah. Okay, you go keep it there and we'll go reverse back. So clutch in by the width of a pound coin for me. Okay, when I say to go, and what we're going to do is we're going to keep it there until the cut the curb appears in our back left corner. All oh, right, you said okay? that, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we just go look around again because we've been, my fault, we've been here stationary oh, for right, a yeah. So anything out between your door pillar and the seat? No. No, anything outside? No. Door mirror? No. Front? No. Interior mirror? No. My door mirror? No. Left blind spot? No. no. Looking out the back window, no. clutch off for me, all the way off. Put that, sorry, handbrake off, my mistake, wrong word. Take the handbrake off for me, Tony, all the way down. Push it in all the way down. It's not down yet. You can see the warning light on your dashboard. So you put it all the way down. It's important to make sure it's all the way down, Tony. Otherwise, the car won't move properly and it's uh, going to be damaging the mechanics of the car. Oh. Okay, so looking yeah. out the back window. Yeah. And keep going backwards, nice yeah. and gently. It's fantastic. You and, until, and you're going to stop at that reference point, yeah? yeah. I will do, I promise. Okay. It's important to stop at that reference point, Tony. Otherwise, we're going to miss turning into the road. It's really important that we stop there. Oh, I'm very good at doing this in field. Okay, about there then. I'm doing it. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to take another check now, um, yep. all around us before we turn in, and then you're going to be turning to the left with your wheel, so towards me. Okay? Yeah. You've got that look on your face, right, you're going to pull something. Over, so check over to the yeah, right blind right spot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. out the side here, anything yeah. in the drives, anything in your door mirror, anything out the front, anything to the left. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to start turning to the left, Tony, yeah. nice and slowly, and remember gravity is going to take an effect, so this time yeah, we're going I'll, to do it. Yeah, I've done a turn. Much. It's too much now, I reckon. Okay, we're going to, so looking out the back left off. window, no, no, keep it on for me. Remember not to dry steer, Tony, it's really <laughs> important not to dry, we must be moving when we turn the wheel. It's important that we do that, Tony, otherwise we're going to damage the steering and potentially the tyres. What's dry steering well. mean? Dry steering is when you turn the wheel without the vehicle moving. Oh, right, right. Sorry, that's my mistake, yeah. I should have explained that. <clears throat> okay? Yeah. So looking out the back left window for me, oh, yeah. okay, yeah. and nice and gently back, covering the brake, but oh, not, covering the brake, oh, covering right. the brake, not yeah. on it, and just using the clutch to go round. Turning left for me, okay, whilst we're moving, Fantastic. Keep that reference point in the same place as you go around. So a little bit tighter left for me. A little bit more on the steering. I've got the one turn on. We're going to have to adjust it accordingly. So a little bit tighter for me. Watch me. Sorry, watch you. Okay. And we're going to stop about there, Tony. And we're just going to look around just to make sure we're still safe all the way around. Can you see anything out of these sides? No. Anything out the drives? No. Anything out your interior mirror? Anything out the right door mirror? and anything out the right hand side? Yeah. No? Okay. So keep looking out for that reference point and keep going back. What reference point? Where, where, do you remember we, where we started turning? You want to keep the kerb in that same spot in the window. Oh, on the wiper. The straight line. No, we're going round until you get it to the wiper, yes. That's what I said. Yesterday. Sorry, yes, you're right. Once you've got it there, we're going to straighten the wheel, so take oh, one full now. turn to the right. Stay so keep now. looking out.